We are going to do a demo on VPC flow logs. If you have opted, then you can use WizLab sandbox environment for doing your hands-on demos. Let's get into the AWS console. In this demo, we are going to send our flow logs to the CloudWatch logs. Hence, we will first go to the CloudWatch and create a log group over there. We have a couple of log groups already present out here. For storing our flow logs, we will create a new one. Let's name this uh, log group as WizLogs. We will keep rest of the settings as it is and say create. Once our log group is created, now we will go to VPC and create a new VPC. We will select the default option which is selected here, the VPC only. Let's go ahead and name our VPC as My VPC. In the previous VPC modules, we have learned how to create a VPC and what CIDR blocks mean. Correct? So we will select a CIDR block of 10.1.0.0 slash 16 as a CIDR block for this VPC. Let's go ahead and create VPC. Once the VPC is created, we will go ahead and create our internet gateway. We will name this gateway as my internet gateway and hit create internet gateway. Now we will need to associate this internet gateway to the VPC that we have just created. So associate to VPC and select my VPC and attach. Now let's go ahead and create the route table entries. Every VPC has a default route table. So we will grab the default route table of my VPC and make changes to that. Let's click on edit routes and add the entry for the internet bound traffic to go to the internet gateway that we've just attached to this VPC. Save the changes and we are done. Now let's go ahead and create a subnet in this VPC. We will select our VPC that we created. Let's name the subnet as this sub. Go down and select the availability zone 1A. Now for this subnet, we will be giving a CIDR block range as 10.1.1.0 slash 24. This will reserve 256 IP addresses to be used in this subnet. Let's go down here and click create subnet. As we know that the VPC flow logs can be created at the VPC level, at the subnet level and at the network interface level. In this demo, we are going to create a VPC flow log at the VPC level. So let's go back to the VPC that we have created. Here we can see our VPC, click on it. And if you go to the actions, you will see create flow log. Let's click on this. We can create the flow log to uh, log the accept, denied or all of the traffic. We are going to use accept for this demo and then we will select the interval as one minute we can send the flow logs to the cloudwatch or to s3 buckets for sending it to the cloudwatch logs we need to have the cloudwatch log group created that we have created right in the beginning let's add that log group out here so the waste logs that we have created there you go and also the second prerequisite is that we require a rule that allows the flow logs to write uh, logs to the log groups. So this is automatically created here. We will select this one. If you're doing this lab using your free tier account, then you will have to create this role yourself. Uh, we will be selecting the default so that we get all the columns that are required to be logged by the flow log. Let's go ahead and create this flow log. Now you can also have a look at this flow log in this flow log section in this VPC. You can see the flow log that we've just created is populating here. Now we are going to create an EC2 instance and place that EC2 instance in the subnet and then we will establish a connection with that, certain things on that and it will log everything in this flow log. 
So let's name this as EC2 instance. And then we will select the AMI as it is. We will let it be to micro. We will select the, we will create a new key pair for this. We will create a .ppk file because I, we are going to um, establish a connection using putt. So we will use .ppk file and we will name this as whiskey. Let's go ahead and create this. Okay, now we can go back and make use of this key. This is already populated here. Now we will need to change the network settings of this. So let's click on edit and uh, let's put this EC2 instance in the VPC that we have created. And also the subnet that we have created is automatically populated out here. Then we will enable the public IP address for this because we've been interacting with this EC2 instance from the internet we will create a new security group for this and the already okay let's name this security group as underscore sg okay now this security group has already existing rule which allows you to have an ssh connection to this ec2 instance from anywhere over the internet we'll go ahead and add the one for http because we'll be accessing it through the browser also so let's add it http and let it come from anywhere okay and few more things that we need to do we will go to the advanced configurations here we'll keep the okay, profile this profile is also will be auto created for you in this environment in your free tier account you'll have to create this okay so i think that's pretty much about it let's go ahead and create this easy to instance Okay, so our EC2 instance is created. Now we will uh, establish a connection using Putty. We will use the EC2 user. And there we are in the instance. We will run certain commands on this to install the HTTP server on top of this and then run that. We will create an index file which will put some message when we will access the server from the internet. So let's run all of these commands here one by one okay so HTTP is installed we will create this index file which will just display the message started it is enabled so that the HTTP started every time I start a server and then we will quickly check the state status of the HTTP server there you go it is active and running when you access it to the web browser you will see this message that is displayed from the index.html that we've just created now as we have uh, done a couple of things with our EC2 instance out here, it is all going to be logged by the VPC logs that we've just created. So you can see in this log group, if you go down to the log streams, you will see one log stream is already created for the accept traffic that we've just um, configured it for. If you see this, you can see multiple records here which are logged as the VPC flow logs uh, coming to that EC2 instance. Let's pick one and have a look at its different fields log and it is trans log which would be your account id usual practice is for which the traffic is being recorded ipv4 or ipv6 address it is the address from where the request is originated followed ipv4 or ipv6 address and ports after that the protocol that's the iana protocol number of the traffic transferred during the capture window these are network packets which contain the data in the capture window the time since it was received and then finally we end. have the log status and then and that brings action. us to the end of That's this the action map. of traffic I'll see you which in the next module.
For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.